Uh, hold on. Okay, that's good. I wonder, I have my phone horizontally right now. I wonder if I can see the chats like that. If you're on, can you type to see if I can see your chat? Let's see. Okay, I see it. I got a new phone. So I'm able to turn my phone over. And I can actually see your comments. Yay! It's actually bright outside. The sun is just setting, which is amazing. Hi, Sharon. Vince. Hi. How you been? How are the boys? They're good. I just put them to sleep. They're loud and clear. Woohoo. Hello. Hi. How's everybody doing? This may be a quick live because my phone is like halfway and I know that these lives like take up a ton of battery. And right now I have no idea where my charger is. Mm, I'm trying to think and look around. Hey, good to see you, sweetie. Hi, Linda. You look fabulous, Carmen. Hi. Do you guys think my hair has grown? Because it's taking forever. I finally feel like I, I don't have those little antennas because it's grown out a bit. Like, I still have this piece here. But at least it's not, like, up here. <laughs> Hi, Ray, Linda, Sharon, Carlos. It's been a long time. It has been. Hi, Michelle. Good to see you. I hope you're all doing good. Yes, totally. It's grown. Yay! I need my hair to grow faster because I'm tired of having this short hair. I'm good, Jennifer. How are you? It's been too long. It has been. There's a lot, a lot of new updates in my life. Drastic changes. A lot of new stuff going on. It has grown a lot. Yay! I don't remember it being super short, but I guess it really was. You got married. Close to that. <laughs> no, I didn't get married. I got married. E. <laughs> I figured. No. I'm not married, Ray. We got a man. <laughs> you guys are funny. Engaged. Keep guessing. Let me try to move this a little. It's too close to me. Why is it doing that? Hold on. Oh, look. It's still bright. <laughs> it's still bright outside. Hold on. I'm trying to get a hang of this.
Hold on. Give me a second while I try to fix this. Yay. Okay. I have this flimsy tripod because my other setup broke. Okay, let's see. Engage, new job, baby, pregnant, promotion. <laughs> well, one of you got it right. So when I drop my new phone. I'm pregnant. And I'm ready for the backlash. But it is what it is. So, I feel like I just have to, <laughs> after that bomb, I feel like I have to go back. <laughs> Ray, I feel like I have to go back. Let me just say it's been two years since my breakup. So I feel like I don't want to hear any shit from anybody. I already know what I'm having. I'm, thank you guys. It's a lot. But let's go back because aside from the big baby news, there's a lot that's been going on. I don't remember where I left off with things. I just know that I was preparing for the kids' birthdays. And after that, like by then, I already knew I was pregnant. So. <laughs> I'll get to it, Michelle. Thank you, guys. I'm not glowing, Sharon. I feel like, sh I feel like crap. I'm like... I'm huge. <laughs> so, okay. Marge. <coughs> so a lot has happened. I finally got my license. Um, first try, like, I did it. It was so good. It was easy, less than five minutes. I don't know what I've been waiting for all this time to get a freaking license. I was just like, all these years, I always depended on their dad. And I was just always scared. Like, I would really get anxious getting behind the wheel. Like, even turning on the car, I'd be like, okay, 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 okay. Like, what do I do? Like, what do I Like, I'm just scared of hurting someone in the street. <laughs> license to get pregnant. <laughs> I'm just scared of, like, hurting someone in the street. Our area, Ray, as you know, has gotten insane. So many, like, little mopeds and little bikes. Like, it's gotten so bad around here. It makes me anxious. And the people are already bad crossing. They, nobody knows what a crosswalk is around here. So people just get in the way. Even, like, parking your car outside, it's a mess because people hit your car. It's... We live in a very congested area, so I feel like that didn't help either. And I was always like, it's just bad here. So I was always feeling um, <laughs> oh, SN Swansea. I was just always feeling anxious and I, I'm, I was always scared. So I paid for a few classes and, you know, they pick you up and they just throw you out there so you have no other choice. I feel like if I had a family member or my mom try to teach me how to drive, it wouldn't work out because they're like your comfort zone. I had one friend try to teach me and I just basically did circles in a parking lot. And then she was like, okay, let's go on the main highway. And I was like, absolutely not. So when you pay someone to do that, you can't say no to them because you pay money. Okay. Okay. Did the light freeze? Because I just received a message and I clicked it by mistake. <sighs> so. So 
so yeah they would pick me up and just throw me in the highway and i was actually good like they would tell me like you're actually pretty good for a first time driver for someone who has never driven before and then when it came to my test like i did pretty good and it was really like three minutes long or less so um i had my court date in june I forgot what day it was at this point, June 7th, June 9th. I can't remember when it was. But things didn't go as I wanted it to go. So I had bought tickets to go to the Dominican Republic with the boys. I don't know if I told you guys this. Money, right? Just wait. Just wait till I tell you. Oh, no, wait. One little detail. no no that was after okay so back to the court date i had bought tickets to go to the dominican republic like what was this i think i bought it in march or april so i was like yay i'm gonna go i tell my mom the next day i had planned it to go in august i think it was or june no, it was June. It was going to be the day after Noah's graduation. My brain is all over the place, so. Um, so the next day after I bought them, I tell my mom, look, I bought tickets to go to the Dominican Republic with the boys. as like a little getaway for me and the boys, and it can also be a little gift for Noah. Like, at this point, I feel like I don't want to do any birthday parties. Like, every time there's a special occasion, I just want to go somewhere because I'd rather have an experience than just spend money on something. Spend a ton of money on something here instead of using that money to take them somewhere new and discover new places and experience new cultures. So my mom was like she burst my bubble really quick and she was like you do know that you need permission from their dad to travel and i was like no like all of a sudden i remember being nine ten years old and my mom trying to take me out of the country and she couldn't because she didn't have my dad's permission like i don't know how that just went over my head but it did i completely forgot about it good thing i had gotten um, protection on the flight and the hotel was refundable but I was like you know what let me try to text him let me try to call him to see like I don't care what has happened like it's been two years at this point you do whatever you want with your life I'm gonna do whatever I want with my life and for me it has never been an issue he's always been the one to like one try to erase his family to try to avoid like any confrontation any responsibility like i've done nothing wrong so i have nothing to be shameful about or to worry about so i was like let me just text him and call him so i did i started doing that i think at the beginning of may or end of april i have a ton of text messages on my phone of me telling him the, my first one was like hey i bought these tickets to go to the country with noah and blake for hit the like button guys as we get this going <laughs> thank you ray um i was like hey i bought these tickets as like a little registration present for noah i get away like a little summer vacation it was only a week long but I was like, I can, I went on the website, on the traveling website or whatever, and I got the form, I filled it out. I was like, look, all you have to do is sign it. I can either email it to you, fax it to you, you can fax it back, whatever you want. We don't even have to have contact. I just, and in the letter, you have to put who you're going with, how many days you're going, where exactly you're staying like i put the name of the hotel the address i did everything and i sent it to him never got an answer i was like let me give him some time i sent him another message like 
I just want to know. I'm getting notifications now, like on my Instagram and stuff and text messages. Does my phone freeze when that happens? I just got an Instagram notification. <laughs> I have, like, heartburn right now. Can you guys tell me? Oh, they keep messaging me. Can you guys tell me if I'm freezing? <laughs> I just got a few messages on Instagram. Okay. So whenever I get a notification, I'll just pause and I'll keep going. No, you're not freezing. It doesn't freeze, just breaks up a tiny bit. So understandable though. Okay, okay. Thanks guys. You're so sweet. Okay, so I messaged him. I waited a whole week. I was like a week or two. I was like, let me give him time. I messaged him again. I have like five or six messages of me asking the same thing. I'm like, please. At one point, I was so close to just showing up to his place because I know exactly where he's living. Um, And like having him like ring his doorbell and have him like sign it. But you know what? I was like, we have the court date coming up. The court date was two weeks before the trip. So I did not touch the trip. I left it all alone. I was like, if the judge says no, then I'll just call that same day. I'll cancel. I'll move things. I'll figure it out. So, never answered me. And a few days before court date, I realized that he blocked me. Because I was like, my last bet is to call him. So then I call him and it rings once and it goes straight to voicemail and i was like wait there's no way this guy just blocked me like what the hell did i do to him so i find that i'm blocked because i call my sister i'm like hey can you call him to see if i'm blocked or what the hell is going on she's like yep he blocked you and then i still couldn't believe it so the next day at my job i called for my phone from my job phone and it rings it's only when i call from my cell phone that it stops ringing so whatever court date comes and the judge we were basically the first case they do the attendance he's not there obviously i knew he wasn't gonna go we did it through zoom so i knew he wasn't gonna go on zoom he was, i knew he wasn't gonna attend it at all because the letter showed up to his mom's house and he is not speaking to his mom either so i feel like i have to go get tums um court day is here they call us we're the first case thank god we were the first case and basically she went over the child support portion first and she was like I'm basically going to get like 100 per week for both kids. That's basically $50 for two kids for one week, which is nothing. I'm like, really? She, there's a lot of people that are just logging in now and I haven't seen. <laughs> yeah, 100 a week for the two boys. She, she I had put, I knew this information, but from back in january when i applied again um hi william t i have to get back to your comments i'm getting sidetracked so i knew his information from before um so i had put his past job and he was actually getting paid salary way over seventy thousand dollars just to put it that way and she goes it's a franchise she goes on indeed in front of everyone we can't see her screen but she is saying like his job and his job title the name of it and everything because i had written it i just feel like that's evasive. like they should put cases in you know how you can separate rooms in a zoom it's like too invasive people find out too much about you on these court cases I just didn't like the way it's handled at all. Even though, like, when you go to court 
it's the same way like in front of other people but uh, how do you know that people aren't screen recording these sessions like it's just weird to me so she goes on indeed she puts his job his job title and she's like oh um with his position he should be making like 14 dollars an hour and i was like no he was getting paid salary and she was like well i'm going based off of what i see here on indeed.com and i was i like i wanted to pull my hair because he was not making 14 dollars an hour he was making so much more than that um so that's how she made the math and she comes up with a hundred dollars a week for both boys at that point i was like whatever let's get that out of the way let me ask the question i was i acted a little naive because i already knew from my mom and like other people telling me like you can't travel without permission so i was like um your honor like i also bought tickets for a trip that's in two weeks would i be able to get like a certain permission from you or like what's the process what can i do to leave the country with the boys she was like you can contact him if you want or you can call him you can have him sign a letter and i was like at that point i was losing it i was like i tried contacting him obviously he does not care because he did not show up to this court hearing I tried contacting him. I'm calling him. I'm messaging him. I have all the proof. And he's just MIA. And she was like, yeah, but this is your side of the story. He's not here to explain himself. And I'm like, so she basically told me I had to either move my dates for the trip, cancel it, or move location, and be domestic. And as soon as she did she said that she was done and i basically started crying she was like if you want full custody then you have to open a new case mind you i applied for child support in january and my court date wasn't until june so if i apply right now for full custody then when am i gonna travel with these boys let me go back to your comments because i see you guys Hi, Carmen. It's been a long time. I haven't seen you live. I think the last time was when your ex might have another baby. Yep. Damn. Well, good evening, stranger. Hi, Matt. What did I miss? You missed a lot, Matt. <laughs> exactly. I've never heard of such a thing with the child support. They usually take your income tax for the year and when you earn. That's what they use. $100. What the fuck? Holy shit. You definitely need to fight that. Okay, so in order to fight that, you, my friends, who may know, do I have to reapply for child support or, like, what application is there to fight that? Hell, I paid 500 a month for one child. 100 for two? That's nuts. Yep. I was left speechless. I was crying after. I'm still upset about it now. Yes, reapply. You need to ask to speak with a supervisor or something. That's bullshit. I mean, it's a judge. Like, she's the one making the ruling. She got it off of Indeed, and he's not even at that place anymore. He left that job, like, right after I applied. I think right after January, he wasn't there anymore. Who knows? Because he's like a bunch. Area is really upset. You need to get a lawyer and build for it. Hundred for both. Let's get on the other side. But yeah, that's what happened with that. Um, she goes, "Do you want him to make an agreement or something to send you the money, or do you want it taken off of his wages?" I was like, "Take it," because I will not see him. Literally, I was like. I haven't seen him in months. It's been it's been six months, almost seven months since the last time we saw him or heard from him. He's completely disappeared. She is not 
properly informed about his earnings not at all like how are you gonna go on indeed to make this decision it's like terrible i almost missed all tea you almost did i say ray that's crazy you should not go to court by yourself. You need a lawyer to represent you. And trust me, you will get more. You're not freezing. Damn it, I've been waiting for you to go live. I just got on 25 minutes ago, Victoria. It's okay. Um, so I hung up the live. And in that moment, like immediately, I, I was like, I told my boyfriend. He was here. Like he showed up while I was ending it. I miss you so much. Oh, I missed you guys too. So he showed up while I was ending it and I just started crying because this is something special that I wanted to do with the boys. And it was ruined because of this jerk not being present, not blocking me. Like, what did I do to you? The audacity of doing that. But he's just trying to eliminate all evidence of a family, you know? Yes, get a lawyer and go back to court. Right now, there's just like a lot I'm going through. I'm trying to make a lot of moves at this moment. I don't think you saw in the beginning, Matt, that I have a big old <laughs> bump. So there's a lot going on. Um, I'm trying to move. After the move, I want to buy a car because it's just a lot. And I don't know if I spoke to you guys about his mom's car that he had taken. The company has to provide the records. Wait. Thank you. With a lawyer, he will get his company salary records. Oh my God, congrats. Thanks, guys. Hi, Carmen. Oh my God, you do have a lot going on. Sending nothing but good vibes. I'm in a good place right now. Like, right now, that whole child support thing is in the back burner to me because regardless if i apply now it's gonna take another six months for me to have a court date so i cannot focus on that i can't dwell on me getting a hundred dollars and who knows when that's gonna start she said it's gonna uh i forgot what they call it i applied in january so it starts rolling from then so the total right now it's over it's over three thousand dollars but three thousand dollars from january to july like can you imagine that's nothing for two boys. But don't they appoint you a lawyer to represent you for free? Are you pregnant, Carmen? I am. Blessings and abundance to you and yours, Miss Carmen. Thank you. Bump, bump. About the time you've been away <laughs> from our chats. Baby bump. Carmen, either fight for child support or 100% for custody. Okay. So that was my other question. If I go, I was going to go today, but Blake had like a skin condition going on again. His eczema is pretty bad. I think at this point, me and the doctor spoke today, and we think it's just like from the heat, his eczema just flares up. They gave me steroid creams again for him because he got he gets really bad, really, really, really bad. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so I was gonna go to court today with Blake while I'm on a school trip, and I was going to see if I apply for full custody. So, if I apply for full custody, child support gets completely taken away, right? I'm in the state of New Jersey. I'm not really sure. Uh. 
Yes, not in Virginia. I think in New Jersey it does get taken away. So it's like a double-edged sword because... How are you so free to... No freaking way you're prego. Yes, Matt. I am. But get the back pay first. Okay. Like, how are you able to just drop all responsibility, give up your rights to your kid, not give it up because at this point I would fight for them, but basically give up your rights to your kid and not be responsible for paying a dime for them or having time with them, nothing. When the judge spoke to me about visitation rights, I told him, I don't want any, he's not around. So she was like, okay, like overnight stays are not a thing and it's not allowed. And I was like, it doesn't really matter to me because <sighs> it doesn't really matter to me because he doesn't see the ways, you know? So it doesn't make sense. It's just, it drives me crazy. Um, yes, back to his mom's car. Did I speak to you guys about that story? As you can tell, so much has happened. <laughs> In Texas, it does. No freaking way for congrats, but get the back pay first. Congrats. Thank you, Ski Ski. Yes, Victoria, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Especially with the baby on the way. Now you definitely need more than 100 for both kids. I'm so shocked. That's ridiculous. Yep. Thanks, Victoria. Yeah, what about this mom's car? Did he give back to her? Is she being better towards you now? Is she good with boys? The more I hear about this man, he never deserved you. He didn't. Then you can fully claim your children with no problem. You will have full custody. Congratulations on you being pregnant with your dirt. Thanks. So, I want full custody so because make all the decisions in their lives and how is it fair that a man who's disappeared for over it's been almost half a year and no visitations no calls no nothing with these boys but i'm like tied down because he's the father like how is that fair Yeah, but if I just continue with child support, then we cannot go anywhere until they're 18 years old. And at this point, like, I don't know if it's even worth it. So sad for the boys, praying for you that everything goes okay. Thank you. Now he is stuck with an old thought. If he's still with her in the first place, I have no idea. He doesn't have the balls to see the boys make him pay. You be the queen he always been. Thanks, Ray. Um, okay, so the situation with his mom's car. I don't know if I told you guys, but I don't know how I can check my battery just in case. Uh this is a problem with having a new phone. Give me a second. Okay. My battery's fine. Um, so I'm pretty sure I told you guys that he left his mom's house in January, took her car, never gave it back. She's been wondering where it was. And I can't remember when exactly she called me and messaged me like, hey, I can't get distracted by the comments. She was like, hi, um, I just wanted to know, like, can I get information on one of his friends to see if I can message him and see if he knows where he's at. And I honestly told her, I was like, look, I speak to this friend constantly and because we were mutual friends. I was like, he will have no idea where he is because he took money from him and he stopped talking to him a long time ago. Um, I'll get back to the comments in a minute. I see, like, a lot of information going on. So, 
I was like, he's not going to have information on him. He has, He's not going to know where the hell he is because he's just like he disappeared on you and us. He's disappeared on his friends too. So I hung up. It took a minute. I was like, you know what? Back when he cheated, there were two addresses and where he would send packages. One had her name, Dia, and had his name. So I was like, maybe, and I had took screenshots of that a long time ago, like when it happened. Like the day I found out, that's when I took screenshots of everything. So I still had those screenshots. I have some of them. Most of them, actually, I think, on my phone, on my other phone. And I was like, you know what? Here you go. I'm giving you this information. You do as you please with it. A week or two later, she calls me and she's like, I have my car back. She went to the first address I sent her, and that's where her car was. Her car was parked outside. She's someone that's, like, very old school, very scared about everything. So she went with her husband to scope the area. They saw the car, and then they were like, let's come back. And, like, let's, let's regroup or whatever, because it was nighttime when they went. They were like, what if he hears the car unlock and comes out? And, like, like, why would you be scared of that? It's your car. He's the one who should be fearful of stealing your mom's car. But whatever. That's their thought process, and that's how they went about things. So, um, they went again the next day. Uh, and they get into the car. It was completely trashed. She said, I think, I'm not sure if I told you guys about this. It was, she said it was completely trash. The brakes weren't working. It sounded horrible when you turned it on. Even when it moved, it was, she was scared of being stuck in the highway. She said it was a pigsty. It was disgusting. There was clothes everywhere. She found Christmas presents that she had given him for him to give to the boys back in December and he told her that he had given them to us and she had asked me did he give you these presents like in February and I was like what are you talking about she told me what they were I was like I have no idea what you're talking about and she did not believe me so I'm happy she found those gifts in her car because I remember vividly that she was not believing that he didn't give me these gifts for the boys so she found that she also found an irs letter that had my name with his address so that made me very like scared and i was like as soon as you can bring it to my house so that i can see it and i can read it because it was in english and she doesn't know how to read english so she brought it over it wasn't really much it was talking about um the child tax credit i guess he was trying to get tax credit for the boys it had my name to his address that's all it was like it wasn't there wasn't any more information on that um so that was the story with his mom's car his mom wound up repoing his her own car from her son he never contacted her after that. Like, he, he can care less because it's not his property. Like, what if someone stole the car? What if it was towed? Like, you wouldn't have the decency of, like, calling your mom and say, hey, the car's not here anymore. But no. They took the car and they still haven't heard from them. Let me go back. Congrats on your newest addition. Get full custody of your boys and get him to pay child support soon. I don't think I can get full custody and have him pay at the same time. After you seek for the arrears, then file for full custody. That way you come and go as you want and need. That's all I want. Like I don't want to be attached to anybody. You want sole physical custody. If you split custody with him, which he will probably go after... He, I don't think he will. He can care less about seeing the boys. He doesn't even show up to a 
court hearing. There's a warrant against him now. And if you split custody with him, which he will probably go after, that means neither one of you will get child support. That means he will get the boys 50% of the time. So physical custody. Okay. Hi, Angie. Even with sole physical custody, he will need to pay child support. In the state of New Jersey, are we sure he will have to make a decision on continuing child support, hopefully at a high rate or hand you full custody? I really need a lawyer. It's a matter of having 100% rights to them and not having to be controlled by his games, 100%. Exactly, Ray. That is very true. Yes, indeed, Matt. Repo mom. What an asshole of a guy. Really? Sorry, but he is. That's what he is. There's a warrant for him now? Yeah, he didn't show up to court. So, after I hung up with the Zoom meeting, with the uh, court hearing, oh, I'm so sorry. This has not changed. I'm always sleepy. <laughs> it got even worse after I got pregnant. So, after I hung up, I cried. I gathered myself, and I was like, I have to take steps and make sure I don't lose my money with these flights and the place the hotel so i called immediately and instead of canceling it i just switched everything over to puerto rico and we wound up going to puerto rico and it was our first time the boys had such an amazing time noah would ask me is this our new home he loved this so much the day before i told him honey tomorrow we're going back home so you have to go to sleep early because our flight was at six in the morning so Good thing the the hotel was like less than 10 minutes away, but they still had to wake up at 5 in the morning. So he started crying. He was like, I don't want to go back home. I want to stay here. Like he really, really loved it. Blake was obsessed. We stayed right at the beach. So it was amazing. Every night we got to see the sunset and we were on the beach every sunset it was so so nice and we got to eat good food so we really enjoyed that i just looked up a few law firms in new jersey on the qa page you have full you can have full custody and get child support it's based on your incomes and number of overnights each parent has what if he doesn't even get a night he doesn't want it he doesn't show up to anything like how am i supposed to negotiate anything with him if he's not showing up to even court you know so yeah grad uh blake blake noah graduated your portion will be higher yeah i just looked it up too sounds like the other still has to pay even if you have full custody um noah graduated pre-k and i was bawling my eyes out i cannot stop crying like i can cry right now <laughs> i missed the beginning i'm 41 minutes late <laughs> oh, what is the update with the child support situation I'm getting a hundred dollars a week for two boys and you don't have to negotiate whatever you put down in those papers and whatever you want if he does not show up you will automatically be granted typically that's when the absent fathers start asking for overnights to reduce their obligation she's prego <laughs> Joint custody may not necessarily have child support payments because you both share in custody. So that's probably not a great option for you. Do you know what you're having, a boy or a girl, Carmen? I know what I'm having. Big boy Noah, yes. So 
he had his graduation the moment he stepped out i was crying and crying my best friend was there with me and she was facetiming my other best friend for her to see the graduation she couldn't be there because she's also a teacher so she's facetiming her she's showing me cry i'm like stop she's showing noah i'm crying 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 i cried for like the first 10 minutes of his little graduation how embarrassing i couldn't stop like it was like kim kardashian ugly crying i couldn't stop crying and i still look at his videos and i want to cry because he was so cute they called all of them one by one they all came out they lined up they sat in their chairs um they sang a couple of songs and then at one point when it was time to give them the diploma they called them one by one and he was like the fifth one so they go noah gomez and when he goes up he walked to the podium and the teacher just gave him the microphone and he says when i grow up i want to be a police officer i was crying i couldn't stop crying and then he walked away, he was smiling, and they gave him his diploma. It was the cutest thing ever. I love this so much. You can still get child support even if you have full custody. You're pregnant? Well, tell me everything. He will be the non-custodial parent. Thank you guys. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Lida. L I, I believe. L I D A. Way to go, Noah. Yeah, it was so cute. Okay, so right now I am about to be in a few weeks. What day is I was about to look for my phone. So it's the 13th. I'm about I'm very close to being six months pregnant. Can you guys guess what I'm having? Definitely seek counsel, please. I will the moment I get chance, the moment I have money for it. If you don't mind me asking, how did you meet your boyfriend? If you don't want to tell, that's fine. He was, I've actually been speaking to him for way over a year. Mind blown. He was one of my best friends years ago. We lost contact. I think I spoke about I've spoken about him before. I lost contact with him. He was in relationships. I was in a relationship. Then I was just like mingling. And yes, you did. I did. I did speak about him. He had a toxic relationship. Yes, 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 yes. And focused on your own, yeah. He seemed so happy. Like, before, he was always angry about things. Like, you just saw it on his social media. He was always angry. And I didn't know him as that person, as someone to always be bitter and, like, upset about everything. Hi, Carmen. Nice to see you. Hope you and the boys are doing good. God bless. Thank you. He was just always negative. Everything would upset him. Like, he just wasn't the person that I remembered. You should get a P.O. box so that we can send you baby gifts. You know what? I feel like I may do that. You have a way to calm a man, girl. You know what? He's told me that before. Like, he feels like I bring him a lot of peace. I'm just not someone that's confrontational. I don't like... I hate fighting. So, like, in every relationship, if we ever have a disagreement, he's very hot-tempered sometimes. And I'm the one to be... I've been telling him about the P.O. Box. I have to. I have to do it. I will. I will. <laughs> There's different sizes to that, right? Um, I 
keep getting distracted. And my pregnancy brain is not helping. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. You guys are distracting me with your comments. Okay, so I don't like being into fights. And like whenever we get into a disagreement, he's one that can be like spit fire. He hasn't done that to me. He just doesn't, he doesn't stay shut. If he feels like his opinion or whatever he's thinking, like the way that he's thinking is right, like he will make it known that he thinks this goes one way or this is how it should be or how he thinks it, it would work. And I'm one that I need my space. Like I'll tell him, like I'll talk to you later goodbye like i'll get back to you in a minute like give me a minute to breathe so we work great together um we had a gender reveal it was so cute let me show you guys something Let me go back. Do you still get hurt when you see your ex? I don't see him. I don't think about him at all. Like, the boys don't even ask about him. Blake doesn't know who he is. Like, they, they just... You know what? Let me tell you something. I'll get back to the comments in a little. Um... Two days before Noah's graduation, I guess the teachers kept telling them, like, you guys need to practice. You guys need to learn your songs because you will be singing in front of your parents, your mom and dad, your family. So, Noah, two days in a row, right before graduation, he asked me, is my daddy going to come? I lost it. Like, I was just crying and crying because... He had forgotten all about him, but of course, <laughs> here we go. This one I blame on my hormones. <laughs> of course, when it comes to like a special occasion, he's going to ask for him. Like he had completely forgotten about him since he last saw him in January. So, of course, his graduation is coming and he's going to ask for it. Um, so my boyfriend did something really, really, really meaningful to me. Um, he didn't tell me till after, like a week after his graduation. He sat me down and he was like, we we're sitting on a balcony. And he was like, I feel like... I I want to tell you something. I don't want to hide things from you and like me not telling you this. I feel like I'm I'm like hiding something big. So I was like, "What?" Like I got really scared. I was like, "What is it?" And he was like, "So So their dad has a cousin that he grew up with us. He's like our age. He was like his brother." And he hung out with us, like barely with me because he was more like Taurus's his like guy friends, his guy circle. So my boyfriend now knows who he is. Like we all know each other in this city. We don't, we're not from this town, but we're from the town over. And everybody knows each other. All the guys that play basketball or sports together, they all know each other. So, as I'm sitting there, he's talking to me. He's like, I contacted his cousin. And, oh my God, I can't even get this out. He was like, and I told him like, hey, I'm pretty sure he already knows or he may know soon what's going on with me and Carmen. I have no animosity because we all know each other. We I'm saying my boyfriend and my ex, we all know each other. So he's like, I have no animosity. 
things just happen and like we love each other and whatever is going on with me and Carmen has nothing to do with what went on with him and her she has no animosity towards him like all she wants is what's best for the boys so he was like I just want you to see he asked him first have you heard from so and so their dad have you heard from their dad <laughs> recently and he was like no and then he asked has his these he listed like a couple of friends and he was like have they heard from him i want to contact someone who has heard from him and he was like no we haven't heard from him in a year it's been a year over that so he was like i just want him to know that noah's graduation is coming up and it's a special moment for him and it would suck if his dad is not there and he's looking for him in the crowd and his dad is just not there um and he told him like i grew up without a father like i know what that's like being a kid <laughs> comments he was like i already know what it's like being his age and like wanting to have my dad there oh, fuck why am i always crying um and he was like if I hear from him, I'll definitely let him know. And my boyfriend was like, oh, this is the part that I kind of got not a, mad, but a little upset about. He was like, I'm going to go to the graduation and I'll take pictures. My boyfriend. <laughs> Stop crying, Ray. He was like, I'm going to go to the graduation I'm going to take pictures of him and videos. I'll send it to you so you can send it to the dad. Stop crying. <laughs> I'm just crying because it was so sweet. And like at the same time, I feel bad. For Noah. I always cry for my kids. <sighs> I can't. <laughs> So he told them, I'm going to take pictures, I'm going to take videos, and I'll send it to you, to his cousin. And then he was like, if you're ever going to contact with him, show it to him. And I feel like he does not deserve to even see a picture. I still haven't, I'll ask him tonight, like I still haven't asked him if he ever sent him those videos or pictures, but... Like, he does not, I have a henna, it's not a tattoo, it's a henna. He does not deserve to see anything, to be a part of anything, because he does not want to be in their lives. He's hiding from his kids, he's avoiding them, he's basically erasing them from his life. So why should he even have access to anything that involves them, you know? But I pre I told him, I was like, I kind of don't want him knowing anything about them at this point. But I appreciate it. And like when he told me, I started crying just like I am now. He went through the same exact thing with his father. I think he said he was the same age as Noah. His father left his mom with two kids. There's a smaller age gap between him and his brother. They're like a year apart. They're only a year apart. Like they went to high school together and they were in the same grade. Like they grew up and they're like best, they're still best friends, but their dad is not involved and come he like appears here and he okay so his story is his dad abandoned them at the same age basically as my boys his mom stayed alone with two boys and then the dad started a brand new life he, he's told me like he's done the same thing as this guy has done with them he completely disappeared he started a brand new family, had two new kids, and like, 
my boyfriend was the one who went down to Florida like five years ago and looked for his dad because he felt like he needed to release that anger he had towards him and towards what his dad did to his family and to his mom so he finally met him at like the age of like 27 I believe and I feel like I need to go wash my face <laughs> and they reunited he said they had a good conversation he lived down in Florida near him I believe for about two years he came back up to New Jersey and he doesn't have the best relationship with him because it's been so many years but the text here and there and he feels good about what he did so he sees himself in them and like he understands how they feel when they're asking for their dad so that was super special to me and it meant a lot to me. And I'm done crying. No more crying. Let me go back to your comments. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, I need to blow my nose. Hold on. No more sad. I'm going way up. You guys commented a ton. <laughs> okay. Girl, 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 girl. Mind blown. Hi, Jamona. <sighs> He finally left that other one he had. You should get a P.O. box so we can send you baby gifts. You have a way to come in. I saw all of these. I really hope and pray that Noah, that his dreams of being a police officer. I do too that would be so cute if he became a police officer I'm going through a breakup I have two kids I'm living in shelter when I get to see him give him kids I get hurt I'm sorry you'll get through it I promise there's a lot of help depending on where you are you can apply for a lot of help Yes, baby gifts. We need to have a baby shower. I've been, my friends have been bugging me about a baby shower and I just don't want any of that. Like the gender reveal, I didn't want it, but all my coworkers, my best friends, they got into a group chat and they planned it. Like I was a little stressed towards the end, but it happened. It was so beautiful. I loved it. We had an amazing time. Hopefully a girl. If not a girl, then happy and healthy regardless. And the best future ahead with you as his, her mommy. <laughs> All your children will be forever blessed. Mm, thank you. Yes, there are different sizes. But they can always hold your stuff and slip you a notice. I anticipate you will get a lot of stuff. By next video, we have a peel box. <laughs> Let's see. I think it's a boy. Hi Carmen, good to see you. Hi Anna, se ganó el premio contigo. Did you say what you're having? May have missed it. I didn't say not yet. I'm going through a rough time. I have two kids living in shelter. It's so sad. Had a really bad toxic relationship. Any advice? At least you're out of that toxic relationship and that's the first step to 
having a better future for you and your kids. It may be rough now, but things will get better. I think the people at the shelter can give you advice on where to go to next. And they can help you getting information on how to get help with when it comes to either food assistance or living. You should do an Amazon wish list. I think it would be easier for everyone. With the Amazon wish list, do I have to put my address? I just don't want to put my address in anything for obvious reasons. I say girl. Yes, an Amazon wish list or any registry would be great because it will help us know what you will need. Yeah. I'm going to look into the Amazon wish list and I'll post it whenever I have a chance. Girl, it's a boy. The boys have a new dad now. At least they'll have a positive male role model in their lives now. You're glowing. It's definitely a boy. Girl. I like your new man already. Shit, I'm crying too. He doesn't deserve any pictures, any videos. Like, <sighs> Carmen, your boyfriend will be the father figure in their life. Please don't cry. Being a father doesn't make him their dad. He doesn't deserve that one bit. But he knows how it feels because he went through it. Those sweet boys don't deserve a half ass dad. Don't waste your tears. Ugh, I could cry. I am happy that you're now with a man you deserve. Padre es que quería. You guys are gonna make me cry again. Holding back the tears, they're right there. <laughs> me too, I don't have a dad. I grew up with no dad and had a very toxic partner who is in this separated i feel really sad you'll be okay i promise as i'm crying here but noah deserves a possibility think of it that way then i can't even read it like when it comes to noah i'm a sucker <laughs> like i'm always crying when it comes to him Then he can never say that you didn't try. The gesture is beautiful. Don't let that asshole ugly destroy the beauty behind the effort. Oh, Swansea, that was nice. My boyfriend raised my daughter since five years of age. Now my daughter is going to Pepperdine for a master's program. Boys will be good. At least they'll grow up with a father fit father figure in their lives all that matters it's okay to be a bit sad Carmen about your feelings and what you're going through I fear your sadness I, I really think that you have a winner with your have a winner with your wonderful boyfriend Carmen I give you Two minutes before you cry again. It's a good release. Let them flow. But you're so beautiful when you smile. P.S. You're not an ugly crier. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Carmen. I wish you and your boyfriend the best. Thank you, guys. We can't fix all of our baby's problems. Oh, fuck. Here we go again. <laughs> Why are you guys doing this to me? <laughs> What am I having? Guess. Let's forget about that. <laughs> but we can make sure. They will not go through their struggles alone. <laughs> Congratulations, Carmen. So are you living together? We are living together. How are the boys with him? I think you're having a girl. Noah at first he was very very shy but now like even today I recorded a video give me one moment 
I recorded a video and I sent it to him because they're both like, Mommy, when is he? Like, they were saying his name. They're like, When is he coming? When is he coming? I'm like, Why? And he's like, Because I want him here. <laughs> Blake is obsessed. Like, they both have a good relationship with him. It's not easy. I'm not going to say everything is super easy because Blake is a toddler. He's tough. Noah has his character, his own personality. He can be tough at times, but they really like him. You should also have an online baby shower with your online friends. <laughs> that sounds nice. They say the faster the heartbeat about... 160 or above is a girl. Hi, Carmen. When is your due date? November 15. Sorry to hear, Jamana. It'll get better. Oh, Carmen, I love you in your heart. It's okay to cry for your children. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I don't know how a parent can wake up one day and decide to abandon their children. I don't know either. Like, how can you live with yourself? <laughs> Hi, Benji. You can make your address private. I'm so behind in these comments. <sighs> I can't believe how biased these judges are and make it so difficult for moms these days. My daughter's dad abandoned her for seven years. He has a history of domestic violence and they still awarded joint custody. I don't understand. And then when something happens to a kid, they're like, oops, we tried. You can put a PO address on your Amazon wish list. Or you have the packages sent to an Amazon locker. I've seen that before. Smart. My son's ex is keeping his son, my grandson, from us because my son requested 50-50 custody. We haven't seen him in two months. We only live six minutes apart. Lily, is he good dad now? Huh? That's crazy, Nicole. Hi, Tabitha. It's the hormones. <laughs> I mean, I'm a crier, but I feel like my hormones have made me crazy. Group hug. <laughs> I hope you're having a healthy baby girl. Girl. Oh, that's beautiful. Hit the like button. Yes, Matt, it's crazy. Some women think they have more rights than the dad. Certainly, it's been that way in the past. But things, they are changing. 50-50 should be the norm if parents are good parents. Carmen, your boys will grow up to love him. Move forward, not backwards. November 15 is already on my calendar. My baby was born the 22nd of November. Ooh. Are you going to do a maternity shoot? I really don't. I feel so ugly. I tell my boyfriend all the time. Today I was just telling him I feel huge. People aren't helping by telling me, Whoa, you look bigger than almost six months. Like... This time around, I feel massive. And the comments from, like, others don't help. Like, all the... I dismiss the kids in school, and the parents are like... These past few days, my belly has grown. And they're like, are you pregnant? Oh, my God. Like... They're like, you're so big. People just don't watch their mouth when they speak to pregnant women. Maybe they'll have the same beat day. Are you and your boyfriend going to get married one day, Carmen? He wants to. He's told me, like, if it was up to me, we'd be married already. And I'm like, eee. Thank you, Tabitha. How's your mom? I know in the past you stated she was old school. So how did she take the news? <laughs> you look radiant. Remind me to get back to my mom when it comes to me telling her I was pregnant because oh. hey I'm sorry I haven't caught up with you in months 
Hope you're okay. You're pregnant with the same father. Are you back together? Hell no. It's your third baby. It's okay. That's my husband's birthday, November 22nd. You look beautiful. Don't worry. Girl, you're glowing. Makes me want a baby. <sighs> I finally caught up. <laughs> so, let me get to my mom before I tell you guys what I'm having. Because I'm going to end it soon in like 15-20 minutes. Um, so, I was stalling i found out back in march march yes that i was pregnant actually my boss had her baby no not yet ray give me a few minutes <laughs> my boss had her baby and she mess her boyfriend messaged me at like seven or eight in the morning two hours later i found out that i was pregnant wait my popcorn go get your popcorn <laughs> so since march i stalled all the way up to mother's day may to tell my mom that i was pregnant might not seem like a lot but for me every day that i saw her i was like oh my god she's gonna kill me like i'm a grown-ass woman and i was still scared <laughs> my daughter's b day is november 13th Later on, you guys can take butts <laughs> when we're closer to the due date. So, I was like, you know what? I need to just have the balls and my belly's going to just keep growing. I need to tell her. I bet you're having a girl, Carmen. <laughs> I, I might, every day, I would like pep talk myself. Like, you need to tell her. I would find, you know what? We FaceTimed my sister twice. I think one time around like April and she, my mom was here and we we were FaceTiming my sister that is in, um, in Florida. And out of nowhere, my mom is like, my sister has always been chunky. So she was like, oh my God, are you pregnant? Like very old school, doesn't watch her mouth. Just like all these parents at the school that pick up their kids and just don't know what they're blurring out to people she's like oh my god are you pregnant and then she looks at me you better not be pregnant too and then my sister already knew like i told my sister immediately when i found out and i can see my sister's face and we're like both smiling and we don't say anything <laughs> and she's looking at both of us like that happened twice and two separate times like and those were my opportunities to tell her, but I just couldn't. So, Mother's Day came. We go to this restaurant. We waited three hours to be seated. But we waited, like, an hour and a half in the car, and then the rest we would walk around or whatever. So, she's sitting down. We get our food. I'm like, let me let her eat before I give her this bomb for dessert <laughs> so then as she's done eating i call my sister on facetime because i need like a little moral support there and i'm literally sitting across from her she has blake next to her i have no one next to me three hours oh my god yes we waited three hours our area is super congested mother's day is like horrible to go to restaurants around here it's so bad i'm sure it's in a lot of places but um i call my sister i have it right here on my phone and i'm like uh do you want to take over my apartment because i'll be moving in the next few months like i plan on moving and she just looks at me and she's like why and i just blurted it out i'm moving out because i'm pregnant like <laughs> Like I said, it's super fast because I just wanted to spit it out and just let it known and get it out of the way. And she, like her facial expression just like completely changed. Like I could tell she wasn't happy. She just kept going like this and like this. And like I have my sister on the phone and she's laughing because she's staring at her. <sighs> but after I told her, I felt like weight lifted off my shoulders and she just kept telling me like 
you're struggling with these boys like why would you do this and i'm like you know what it happened and it's not like i can do something to just i mean obviously people will have anybody would have had an abortion but it's just meant to be for me it just hasn't been it that's just not my route my train of thought like i would never like i don't have i could never have an abortion like i did this and i have to take responsibility i told her like what am i gonna do take it back like i have a baby in my belly like there's nothing else i can do so after a while of her just like shaking her head and like going like this i felt like it finally sunk in and when we were driving off she was like look that apartment says for rent and that one says for rent like immediately she started like looking for apartments for us and it's been hard like super hard We've been looking at so many apartments. We've been looking for months and we can't find anything that we like or anything that's worth the amount of money that they're asking. We're looking for an apartment and for a two bedroom, they're asking for over $2,000, about $2,200, $2,300. Like it's so much. And a lot of these places are dingy and they're railroad style which it doesn't work when you have kids like we can't be crossing into each other's bedrooms like ray if you know of any apartments just let me know i've looked at all of the ones on zillow in my area what's the other one zillow apartments.com and not only that you have to pay a month a month's rent security and broker's fee so it comes out to almost six seven thousand dollars to give all at once and that's a crazy chunk of money to move out and on top of that like i plan on leaving everything like most of these things in this apartment was chosen by my ex i don't even like it i hate this couch i think i've told you guys before like I just don't want anything from here. I want to start fresh. And that's going to be expensive too. Zumter? I've never heard of that before. I guess, Ray, I'm just going to have to walk in our area. And if there's a for rent sign, then I'm just going to have to call, knock. Because going through these websites and brokers is just way too expensive. Like, I need to have a... We need to be a little more patient and... We'll find something eventually. My boss, I have my co-workers. Everybody's been looking for apartments for me, but everything is just too much. Like today, I went to see one, and it was disgusting. The real, the broker, like, he walked in, and I don't think he had walked into that apartment before. Like, I don't know how you're showing an apartment, and you've never been in it before. Because he walked in, and he was like, oh my god, this is a dump. And I was like, well, great. I hate it, too. <laughs> it was just, he said that they were renovating it, and it was going to be done by August, but it looked like nothing was being done. It just looked destroyed. And I'm not going to put $2,000 or more into something like that. Here, I pay 1000 and that's a steal because I've been here for 10 years. Ignore the negativity, just be you and remember you have precious baby growing. Always remember you're beautiful and one of a kind. Thank you girl three hours yep you think it's a girl i assume boyfriend doesn't know about these and that is the reason why you haven't been able to get online understandably 
He doesn't really live with me. He has his apartment. But he has, it's like a townhouse that he shares with his mom. Like he has the bottom floor, he has the top. But they have a lease. But most of the, I say he lives with me because most of the time he's here hanging out with us. I feel like he lives with me. But no, I haven't been on because I've just, you see, there's just been so much going on. Gender reveals, court dates, vacations, like graduations, summer school with the boys and their summer programs. It's just been a lot. So, and being pregnant, I've been extremely tired. The first three months, I was just nauseous day and night, especially at night. So, it's been a lot. But now, I'm starting to feel a little better. Like, I'm not nauseous all the time. So, and the sleepiness. Like, as soon as I would get home, I would be with the kids, do what I have to do with them. And the second they would fall asleep, I would just knock out on the couch for, like, three hours. Wake up at, like, 11 or 12 and then be ready to go back to bed. <laughs> Does he work nights? He works. No, he doesn't work nights. He works. He has two jobs. Some days he's working 12 to 5. Some days he does his. He does most of his. Most of his days are his two jobs. Like, he'll do one in the morning, and then he moves on to the next one until maybe, like, 11, 11.30. Told you that you needed to use protection with this new guy. Amounts are ridiculous. Yes, they are. It's too much. Wow, yes, rent is ridiculous. Wow, 2200 that's crazy. Zumpter. That's mortgage prices. They, it is, but not mortgage prices in New Jersey. My friend bought a house for a little over 300000 outside of this area because I live by the New York City area. That's why we're so expensive. She moved out like 15, 20 minutes away. Her house was a little, a little over three hundred thousand, and her mortgage is three thousand dollars. Like in New Jersey, it's not worth buying a house. In my area, houses are like a million dollars or almost a million dollars, and they're complete dumps. Like they're not. You're not paying for land. You're not. It's not worth it. Uh, I gotta end this quick because my battery. Just got the little notification. The rates are ridiculous. Yes, they are. How about looking for a home you may qualify for a first-time buyer? I would want a home, but not in my area. I got lucky in 2017 when I bought my house. Got over two acres and a three-bedroom house for 250k. Wow! But that's Virginia. Up in New Jersey is ridiculous. I heard it's really bad. <sighs> I live 20 minutes outside of D.C. in Fairfax County, Virginia. Some of the best schools in the country. Come on down. <laughs> Ray is so crazy how rent. Yep. Definitely out with the old and a fresh start. Are you and your boyfriend moving to another city or state? He would love to move back to Florida. Like, that's his dream. Like, he always tells me, when we move to Florida, we're going to need this. When we move to Florida... I will, my whole life I've always wanted to move down to Florida, but like I've said before, I like my job. Eventually I do want to make that move, but right now I want to take it one step at a time. I want to move, be settled in an apartment, have my baby, buy the car, and then we can save up to move. How is he showing something that he never bothered to tour himself? I don't know. Well, that's quite a deal. I paid thirteen hundred. My rent is fifteen, and I live in North Carolina. I had used real estate property brokers to show me places, and then I attempt to make direct contact with the owner to negotiate. The renters rentals are under no contract with them. It's not like a house. I built a house. Because the price would be the same as renting an apartment. I didn't want that. Yep. <sighs> it's so bad. I really need to move from this area. 
Girl, we get you are busy. It's crazy so much going on. Zumper. I'm going to look at that, right? I will pray that you and your boys will move into a really nice condo or a townhouse, Carmen. Aw. She must have took out a short loan. If you take it out a little longer, it's cheaper. Does your state have a first time home buyers program? I'm pretty sure they do. 3K is outrageous. Because mine was 250K and only paid 1300 So tell us what you're having. Here we go. I hated Florida when I lived there. Don't go to South Florida. It's ridiculous down there. Way too many damn people. My sister lives in Orlando. She loves it. I've been to her area a few times. I love her little community. It's so cute. I love the amenities. <sighs> but we'll see. All right. Let me see. I have little outfits here. Take your guesses. I'm going to go get the outfit. Ooh. <laughs> oh rose just logged in you just came right on time i'm so excited girl but somebody tells me another boy ready <laughs> final guess girl rose i'm pregnant <laughs> The boys will have a girl. I can't wait. Are you prego? Yes. <laughs> I thought it rose a minute to catch your breath. Say what? <laughs> You're going to have to go back in the live. Ready? Are you still guessing? Ching! <laughs> I'm having a girl. It's a girl, guys, and she moves a lot. Just in time, congrats, I knew it. <laughs> I'm finally having a girl. <laughs> My baby had that same dress. Yeah, Target. My coworker, like on the day of Noah's graduation, I, I was not in the office. I told him I'm not gonna be part of the office today. I'll be busy with Noah and his graduation. But when I walked in to leave my purse, I see this hanging on the desk. And I'm like, who brought this? And it was one of my coworkers. She's so sweet. <laughs> That's so cute. Best of both worlds. Congrats. Thank you. Rose, you came in at the perfect time. <laughs> we have a name for her, too. So much love to you all. Thank you. Her name will be Leia Rose. Middle name Rose. I'm shook. <laughs> Who is we? <laughs> You're shook. How cute she's gonna be. Chiflada? Excuse me. <laughs> More channel content with baby stuff. Yep. Leia. Leia is her first name. Leia Rose. <sighs> the boys are obsessed. The other day, Noah was like, Mommy, when is Leia ready? Like, if she's baking. He's like, when is Leia ready? I was like, in November. And he's like, is tomorrow November? <laughs> I was like, no. 
And then Blake is the cutest. He'll go and put his head on my belly. And he lifts up my shirt and he puts his ear on my belly button. He's like, are you okay? Like, he touches me. And I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. Are you? <laughs> He's like, yeah. But he does that constantly. Make that Amazon wish list, girly. Really want to gift. Ah, my phone is going to die. Really want to gift her girly things. Layla? No, Leia. Like, Princess Leia. L-E-I-A. Leia Rose. Can't wait to see baby girl. Beautiful name. We got to buy girl stuff. <laughs> How are you spelling it? Oh, no, not, not Laya, Ray. It's L. You're confusing me. <laughs> Wasn't laughing at baby's name. Laughing at Rose's comment. Rose's beautiful name. It's tomorrow, November. L E I A. Blake sounds so sweet. He really is. Baby girl is already blessed with two big brothers. Love the name. Congrats again. It's a girl. Wow, I miss so much. Last time I watched must have been so long ago. <laughs> now please get the P.O. box. November is just around the corner too. Alright guys, my phone is actually about to die now. So, everyone hit that like button. Shower you with gifts. Keep us in the loop. We, I will. I'll, like I said, I'm feeling a lot better now. On your way out, have a great weekend. Keep us in the loop. I knew that's what you're going to have. Congrats on having. Thank you. I've been feeling a lot better now. So I'll be here a lot more often. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for all your support, for your kind words, for always making me cry with your sweet comments. <sighs> really proud of you. Thanks, Ray. Good night, Matt. Have a good night, guys. Yeah, and let us know. Good night, Carmen. Good night, everyone. Stay blessed. Good night, guys.